Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, it has been a long time since I've sort of just sat down, done my makeup and chatted to you guys and I thought today would be a really good time to do that. I am in lockdown. It is now the end of 2021 and Australia is basically 80% locked down at the moment. Currently I'm not allowed to go five kilometers from my home. So I can't exactly claim that I don't have enough time to film makeup videos anymore because there's nothing else to do. I don't know what this look is gonna look like. Here's a sneak peek. Really nice, really love what I did with the look there. As you guys know, it is important to start off your makeup with a nice base and that base for me is always a moisturizer. Let's get into it. So this video is in collaboration with Synergy Skin and today I am using their Derma Calm Anti-Redness Moisturizer. You may have seen I have been going through a bit of a sensitive skin situation over the past year and have really had to simplify my skincare to keep my dermatitis at bay and this moisturizer has really fit into my routine perfectly these past few weeks. It's a soothing moisturizer with calming and repairing properties suited to those with sensitive skin and is great for eczema, rosacea and acne. The company's founder, leading skin scientist Terry Vinson, has also just published a book all about skincare, which I've been reading lately and have found super helpful. She breaks down the science and skin biology in a really easy to understand way, and I have found it really helpful in understanding my own skin concerns. This book is literally like a Bible. It's like a skincare Bible, and I plan to go through the entire thing. Like I have had a basic read, but it is so in depth that I feel like I need to get out my highlighter and basically give myself a degree in skincare. Every question I have ever asked about skincare or anything I have ever wondered or ever Googled is literally in this book. I also really like to start off my makeup by prepping my lips as well. So I'm going in with this Leno, Lip, Leno Lips um, 101 ointment. I've actually just finished the strawberry version. And now it is time to crack out a new one. This is like my all time favorite. For a primer, I'm going in with an old classic. This one is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. I'm nearly out of this stuff. Over the past year, I've become like very particular with what I use and instead of like using everything like I usually do, I would just kind of pick favorites and actually finish products for once. I just kind of haven't been interested in trying out new products as much. I've just been like sticking to what I know works and what is good which is refreshing. For foundation, I'm gonna mix two of my current favorites. Um, both are getting very, very low and I'm gonna be so sad when my NARS runs out. This, this is my favorite. I don't think I can actually live without it. Yeah, it's getting very low. So I'm just gonna take my NARS She Glow Foundation. This has been like one of my favorite foundations for probably about six years now. I love it. And I'm gonna mix it with some of this Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I just got that all over my pants. The NARS is kind of a little bit warmer. No, that's like perfect. <laughs> We're good. So as I said, I'm currently in lockdown. This is the first time that my particular city has been in lockdown since the start of the pandemic. For some reason, I think we all felt like 2020 was like how long the pandemic was gonna last for. And now it's like the end of 2021 and it feels like we're at the start of the pandemic again here. It is a very, very odd feeling. Okay, going in now with some Hourglass Concealer. This is one of those products that I kind of haven't used anything else <laughs> but in a while. What else is new? Um, I haven't really uploaded because I spent the first half of the year concentrating on finishing uni. I actually dropped out of uni when my YouTube channel blew up back in like 2014 I think it was yeah 2019 I went back and started doing it like super like super part-time like one unit a semester sometimes but yeah I officially have a Bachelor of Media with a major in screen practice and production so like filmmaking and a minor in performance so very me <laughs> just gonna do a light sort of Bit of contouring, nothing too intense. And this is my Fenty Beauty matchstick in the shade Mocha. Did you guys see my documentary? Yeah, kind of like the other reason why I didn't post much this year was because A, I was trying to finish uni, but B, I was also trying to like put all of my time and effort into the documentary that I released about eating disorders, body dysmorphia, 
just body related disorders and how social media impacts them. Um, and it was like kind of my last project that I did before I graduated. The promo is on my channel, but the actual video is not. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen it already, to set that in place, I'm just going in with my friend Nakia's makeup line, Nakia Joy Cosmetics. This is her setting powder and oh my god, it's actually so good. I heard so many people raving about it for so long and I'm very much like loyal to my Laura Mercier powder, but she's convinced me to cheat. It also smells incredible. Okay, then I'm going in with this. This is the Hourglass Am oh, Loop Ambient Lighting Palette. This is like an old classic. I don't even know if this is still a thing anymore. Do you guys remember when this came out and like everyone was obsessed with it and everyone was like posting photos in their flat lays and like it was just like the product that everyone wanted? I've reignited my love for it. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of the bronzer over the top of the contour just to like, I don't know, zhuzh it up. And then I'm gonna go in with the highlight shade, which is like a super kind of like light highlight, but looks really, really pretty on the skin. It's like really finely milled. Um, and I'm just gonna pop that where the highlight goes. Has anyone else had anything canceled lately because of the pandemic? Let's start a chain in the comments where we can all mourn the events that we have missed. For me, it was my show, Mamma Mia. <laughs> Um, it actually ended up working out really well for me though because because it got postponed and we had to wait a year um, I ended up getting to understudy one of the lead roles like I think six shows in the end I did six shows as one of the leads uh, which was super fun like amazing experience so <laughs> low-key grateful for the pandemic for that but I'm in another show called Priscilla Queen of the Desert and we're literally like three days away from moving into the theatre and yeah, we got cancelled because New South Wales had an outbreak. I mean, I can't complain. It's not like my wedding was cancelled or anything, but it'd be nice to have a wedding to cancel. For brows, um, okay, I got sent a really cool package from Benefit Cosmetics this week with a heap of new brow products. This one is the Benefit Powermade Brow Pomade. Brow Pomade. Is it pomade or pomade? I don't know. So I have never been much of a fan of like brow pomades or pomade. But um, I'm gonna give this one a crack. And yeah, so this is like pure first impressions. So this is it, it's in the shade 2.5. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a bit more. Oh, nice and close. I'm just gonna brush my brows. If you can remember the days when I didn't have brows, you are an OG and congratulations for still being here. <laughs> okay, so it looks like this. Oh, oh, we're feeling. We're feeling in. I feel like this is good for like really precise eyes. I'm not really like a precise eyebrow kind of gal. But I mean, I'm impressed. It looks good. Oh my God, I really like it. Cute. I'm very excited to have a new packet of this because I currently have two on rotation which are both starting to look a bit chunky and empty. This is the 24 hour clear brow setter and if you followed me for a while, you will know that I use nothing else. You know when you find the perfect eyeshadow and you just don't want to use anything else? That's this palette for me. The Snap Shadows Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palette 6 Smoky. It's literally just like the perfect selection of colors. Like, it's all I have needed. I'm gonna try and be a little bit more adventurous because I feel like all I've been doing is like that smoky little wing lately. So we're gonna venture into the purple. I haven't had a smoky eye in so long. This looks terrible. Trust the process. Hi, 2011 cold. <sighs> I'm gonna fix this and I'll be right back. Life lesson. If you don't regularly do eyeshadow, you forget how to do eyeshadow. I'm gonna try and fix this with layers and layers of mascara, so. Better than sex mascara from Too Faced, pray for me. I mean, I don't hate this. It's quite cute. It's just, it's just not what I was intending. Okay, I don't hate it now. 
I also think while I'm here, I'm just gonna do a few little freckles, cause why not? So I've just got my little, precisely my brow pencil. Let's do some little frecks. It looks so intense, but then once you layer it and tap it down, it looks great. I might put a tiny little dash of blush across there. Just from that same ambient lighting palette. A little pink freckly nose, why not? Are we vibing this? I don't know, I feel like I'm vibing it. The lips, what are we gonna do for lips? Cap on D, now known as KVD Vegan Beauty. This is the shade um, Ludwig. This is a really good like neutral shade. It basically goes with anything. Um, and I really like the formula of these um, liquid lipsticks because they just last for ages. I wore these all throughout my show, Mamma Mia, through costume changes, through sweat, through everything. Yeah, I really like them. I feel like to chat get ready with me is all fun and games until you do the lipstick. <laughs> um, I think that's the finished look. Thoughts? Opinions? Do we like it? Do we vibe it? I feel like it's kind of like a wintry look, but we're going into spring now, so freckles. I have nowhere to go. <laughs> I feel like that was just kind of like a life dump on you guys, like updating you on where I'm at in life, but it's just been so long and I haven't really like chatted. But yeah, now I'm in lockdown, nothing else to do. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see more Chit Chat Get Ready With Me videos as such, please do let me know. Give the video a like so I know to do more. Um, yeah, thanks for sticking around if you're still here. Have a lovely rest of your day and I hope that you are not in lockdown like me because I have nowhere to go. <sighs> I'm just gonna go put my PJs on and maybe I'll go for a walk. I'll go for a walk. She's ready for it. <laughs> Bye guys.